Good morning everybody and welcome back to another Sumi Shaves video with me on a beautiful Thursday guys. I'm so excited to be shaving today with you guys here. Thank you so much for clicking into my link and for joining me today guys. Because it's October, it's the perfect time. We're using a Franken razor here. We're using a razor that literally died and has been resurrected. We have created a shaving monstrosity here guys. That is a gem blade, guys. A, just a full gem, including the spine and everything, guys. That whole entire thing slammed in to the um, one blade core razor, guys. And mine, it took a it took a fall, took a tumble. And guys, if you can see that little crack up here, up top, check this out. That little crack took a little fall, had a tumble, and you know it took the Subi and Sophie son to put it all back together again. You know what I'm talking about? Humpty Dumpty, the shaving razor. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited to be using this today. This is uh, the, the my version, my, my glued, <laughs> my glued, resurrected, one blade core. Guys, look at all that glue up there. Um, that one got a little bit messy because this one wouldn't stay quite as um, perfectly glued. But take a look, that side's perfect. It's just a little teeny tiny crack. Just glued it back together with some crazy glue and instant sealant or uh, instant sealer. And what we've got ourselves now, our hardener, sorry, it was an instant hardener for the glue. Makes it so it goes together instantly. So you don't have to wait. And today we're gonna be shaving using this guy. And we're actually shimming the gem blade, guys. So we're getting some efficiency. Because this blade is this razor, guys, is very mild, okay? The one blade core is known for being very mild. And as, I don't know if you guys can see here. <laughs> With that amount of shim under there, it ain't mild. It makes my my uh, it makes my Genesis seem mild. Like this sucker, it shaves. It it, it flies, guys. It might as well just no longer be a one blade at all. It's something completely different, guys. Thank you so much for being here for this. I'm I'm pumped. And today, guys, like my razor, <laughs> like. Like the zombie core razor. We're using Kichua because it's like a phoenix, you know, from the ashes. It rises. It rises to shave. Oh, guys. Kichua. Freaking fire from First Line Shaves, guys. Oh, I've talked a lot about this. You guys can tell I've used a lot of it. I love this scent. For, um, this is one that they mentioned. It's a co it's a collab scent. Um, and they're... Um, the people that got together that did the scent, guys, the the party that did the scent did not, it actually thought it wouldn't sell. It said it was too strong. They sat it out and were like, nobody's going to want to use that. It is very strong. It is very green. And it's got some back smoke to it as you wear it throughout the day. So it kind of, it changes as you wear it. But for me, guys, my favorite part is the green olibalum into it. It's just, if you've smelled Vorvee or um, Holy Cause Italian Barber, Italian holiday, sorry, Italian, I always call it barber, Italian holiday, very similar, but this has got a smoky backdrop to it that kind of, it it's not sweet, it's more smoky, smoky and green, I love Kichua guys, I love it so much, we're using the splash, I love the red bottle, this is my only bottle that's like red, that's like I got it flared to it, so it's easy to see in my stash, and guys, check this out, I've got the First Line Shaves Mojo Collab Brush for Kichua. <laughs> it's my only mojo brush, but might as well be a Kichua brush because we're going from the ashes. And I've already got my lather generator for us, so I'm not wasting any of your guys' time lathering up. But take a look at that. And I know it doesn't look that impressive, but this brush knot is gigantic, guys. It fills my entire bowl up. Like, it is a huge knot. I know it's only a 26, but it really expands. Oh, today's going to be good. Today's going to be good, guys. We're using uh, Cremo Pre-Shave. And that's it, guys. We've done uh, two hacks to this on top of the glue. We've gone ahead and we've thrown a silicone sleeve on the Genesis. And I'm going to be showing you guys my shimming technique. And this does work with a standard um, Genesis or Core or Hybrid, right? Those three different razors all can use it the shim style that I'm going to be showcasing today. And the reason I like the shim style, guys, is because it gives you more gap without increasing exposure. And I feel like it fits really well with like the feather, even their proprietary feather blade that doesn't work as good for me as usually. So, 
Come with me. Let's go to the Subi Hat Cam really quick and get this sucker loaded for a shake. Here it is, guys, on the Subi Hat Cam angle, up close and personal with the Zombie Core, guys. Look at just how awesome and epic this razor is with the leaf shaves grip guys first and foremost that's the first mod i've done to mine i added a silicone grip and one blade offers one guys you guys can see it on the right here this is my genesis and i do have their variation on this razor the problem is is it's not as long and it, i don't think it looks as nice so again guys this is your opinion but i like this leaf um grip it's a leaf silicone sleeve guys i think it's like three bucks or five bucks um if you use my affiliate code below you're gonna get a little bit of a discount and guys it actually works really good on the one blade it provides a nice tactile grip surface across the entire back of the razor which i think is really cool and it also looks really nice guys today we're taking this razor and we're going to just do this really quickly i'm going to show you we're going to grab a shim and i'm using a shim today guys because the core is known for being very, very mild. And this is about two pieces of plus, um, tape thick that I cut from a Ziploc container, guys. See how it just slides right in the back there? No problems, no effort, no issues. And I'm grabbing a gem blade, guys. This is just straight up uh, three facet Tad Pella uh, PTFE stainless steel gem blade. This is not a scraper blade. For all of you that are curious, this is a shaving blade. And usually these razors don't take this blade, but because mine fell and had a tragic incident, <laughs> mine can take a gem blade now, glued together, and all I have to do is just slide it right in, guys. Make sure that everything looks nice and solid. I'm going to grab just a pair of tweezers, and I'm going to make sure my shim, guys, is just where it should be. And you want that back behind the, the stops. you guys go the gem blade in a one blade core razor no fussing no fighting and no cussing right check that out look at this look how awesome that is how fantastic is that all right guys let's go find out if this thing will even shave who knows come with me and welcome back guys hopefully that angle made sense hopefully you guys got a good up close and personal with the zombie core guys from the ashes all right we're gonna from the from the garbage bin <laughs> from the garbage bin guys saved the pieces of the razor and i'm gonna start lathering up guys we're doing a head shave today um one of my buddies uh one of our subs here and a friend of mine mentioned that he's never seen the, he, he said he's never seen someone shave their head with the core and i was like i've done a bunch of those but we'll do another one and this time we'll actually use a gem blade because i've never done it with a gem blade this is actually going to be my first time using that gem blade to shave guys so i have no idea how this is gonna go <laughs> I, I took a couple swipes across my leg and it took hair off and that's a good sign so and i wasn't bleeding so those are good things and it was close and if you guys have never shaved with a gem blade it's a different experience than with a de blade guys that's all i'm going to say it's a different experience the blades are thicker it definitely has a very specific feedback and fill and it takes my skin maybe a day to accustom, you know, to adjust usually from going from a thin DE blade to the gem blade. I don't know why, uh, but I really do like the thicker metal on a gem blade. And guys, we're just going right on top with that Kichua. And this is excellent. The first line shave stuff is just the brand itself, guys. It's phenomenal. I love the scents. I got Space Odyssey from them. I really want to get that peach scent before it's gone. But you know what they say, there's always too much soap and not enough money to buy it all, right? Everybody's releasing great scents, and there's also a space limitation issue, you know? How much soap can you have? How many scents? How much? And some of you are like, yes, actually, the answer is yes. <laughs> all of them, in fact. Oh, this is great. I'm so excited. So yesterday, guys, I was like, I'm going to do an offline shave. I was working really hard. I was at the office back and forth. And I went to shave with my razor and I dropped it and it fell and it had the notorious land on the head and shattered. And part of the reason is because I wasn't using the grip. I taken the grip off, grip off to clean and guys, it shattered. And I was devastated because I love shaving with this razor. It's 30 bucks and you get their blades and it's a really good razor for me, uh, especially with my hacks, like where you can add the e-blade or an injector blade. But 
when it broke, I, I took a moment and I was like, I can throw it away because it was, a, even when I was trying to get it back together, it was loose. And I did shave partially with it loose. And then I was like, no, no, no we're going to go for So we glued it. We made sure all the things were really tight. And then we found, I found out that if you don't, if, if when you're putting it together, right, you leave a little bit of um, uh, freedom f between the base plate and the top plate, just a millimeter or so. That's where the glue is going to sit, right? Of course, you have to have an, uh, something to hold everything together. That little bit of additional space allows it uh, to use an entire <laughs> gem spine. It's all it took. Really simple. Oh, guys, take a look at this. Take a look at that. And part of the reason I love this razor, guys, is it's extremely safe. It was extremely safe. I don't know now. I have no idea now, guys. I have no idea. We're rocking 24 hours of growth. I'm going to wash all that out. I'm a little terrified right now. I won't lie to you guys. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I have no idea if this thing's going to just haul off and bite me. But it doesn't feel like it is. It feels really smooth, actually. It feels really nice. Honestly, it feels really good, guys. It feels really nice. Definitely... Um, Moderately aggressive with the shim that I have underneath there. Right over the bug bite, nice and easy. What do you know? We're shaving with the gem blade, guys. A whole gem blade just tossed in there and doing a head shave, and it's knocking it down. And if you guys are curious about this razor and you're coming in and you're like, okay, I don't want to have the Subi uh, broken version. What does that razor retail for? Guys, this is, like I said, 30 bucks for this razor right here. 30 bones. It has a, like a really good way of holding all that lather. Look at all that lather it holds. The way it kind of just like goes all the way through back to the razor, it flows really well. I don't ever get a clog with this razor. And for me, guys, it sits in the, in the cool budget spectrum. Of razors that, you know, 30 bucks, you get a really great shave, or at least experience. And I, I find, personally, I get better shaves with, you know, modifying it. You use a DE blade, or an injector blade, or now a gem blade. I have a hard time with the proprietary one blade, the feather, guys. Wow. Phenomenal. Hey, look at this. So that like really fine layer of stubble coming off, guys. Really fine. Very comfortable, honestly. Very interesting. I would say it definitely benefits from... It's not like so efficient, guys, where you're not going to need to go like, you know, and do like multiple passes. You want to main maintain good form with this one. Wow. Good heavens. Wow. Woo. Woo. <laughs> nelly nelly. I like. I like that a lot. It feels super nice. And I'm actually not doing a ton of pressing here, guys. Just kind of letting that razor do its thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Yeah, so it's like 30 bucks, guys. Um, the hybrid uses... So this is a full poly razor. The whole entire thing's poly. That's part of the reason I was able to glue it back together. Part of the reason it broke where it did is because it's fully poly, guys. Their co um, hybrid razor is a poly-handled metal head. So if that were to happen, you know, if it were to fall and land on its head, it wouldn't break. 
where it broke on that, at least probably break on the pivot point if it's gonna break anywhere. Based on the stuff I've read or where people have had problems. And then you got the Genesis guys. And the Genesis is a very expensive razor. It is $300 where the hybrid is 175. I mean, that's even expensive in my opinion for a poly razor. I know they're saying, you know, you're getting the head stainless, but guys, come on, 175. But that's why I don't own one yet. $175 and it's a poly handle. I think that's a little crazy. Give me a, give me a hybrid, give me a aluminum, give me something. But a polycarbonate handle for 175 bucks was a stretch. I did not like the idea of doing that. But the core, the Genesis is nice and it's $300, guys. But it's a nice razor. It's a really nice razor. And for me, it shaves my head pretty common, pretty, you know, every day. I like these razors where it's just a press and pull. You don't really have to think. And that's kind of um, what you're buying into is that kind of design. Sorry, I'm just filling my um, scars and making sure I'm not going to cut myself. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. It is extremely, extremely comfortable. I think that's the thing I'm having. Like, it's very, very comfortable. Um, so the price is, is kind of all over the place, guys, but for 30 bucks, I like the concept that I get a pivoting razor that is definitely modular, right? I've shown tons of ways you can use their proprietary blade to make, um, loading trays, loading plates. And in the sad event that your snaps, falls, and breaks, guys, who knows? Maybe it's not the end of that razor's life anyway. You know what I mean? Maybe you can go ahead and just hack it throw a gem blade into it and go to town. That's what we did. That's exactly what we did, guys. Nice, easy. Huh. BBS, guys, BBS. I'm impressed. Make sure to get my hard spots. That's great. That is phenomenal. That is awesome. And that is complete BBS quality, guys. BBS everywhere. And that's why I chose to use that razor yesterday when I had a lot going on because it's a fast, easy shave for me. You guys, you guys saw. Like I wasn't fighting it, and that was with a gem blade, guys. And these do tend to smooth out. That was its first use, guys. That was its first first use and I actually really enjoyed it. I don't usually enjoy gems on their very first shave and this with the shim on there was really nice. That's it. We are freaking shaved. What? <laughs> Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Smooth. Oh, yee. Oh, guys, this is great. Oh. Missed one spot on the just right side of my head. Oh, <laughs> freaking amazing guys, amazing. So with the, gen, with the gem blade guys, it definitely has a different feel than any other of the blades that I've used. It's different than the injector. It's definitely different than the DE. Um, what I'm feeling here is moderate burn it's not as like burnless is it when i use a de blade in there guys but that's also probably just because it's a thicker blade i was adding the same pressure i do with my de blade but again that's part of the reason i love this razor because it's a razor that you can use some pressure use some poor form 
and still come out unscathed with a great shave. Guys, this was fast. It was easy. Holy cow, and it was smooth. That's it. We did the zombie core razor, guys, head shave with just chucking a gem in there, guys. I know some guys out there right now that are like, hmm, 30 bones. I can have a gem pivoting. Guys, check this out. Pivoting razor that, I mean, has good weight to it, good uh, head, like good grip, good handle, good uh, ergonomics, I was going to say, you know, good length. And I'm sure that they don't like this. I, I guarantee I get an email that says, you know, to stop showcasing their stuff being misused. But guys, this was awesome. It was fun. We got a great shave. Thanks for joining me for a Kichua beautiful BBS dome shave. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.